Hello everyone, welcome back. Last episode we covered interfaces and there's two words there that we have yet to talk about and that is final and the abstract keyword. That's what we're gonna do today but one thing before we start, all the code from all the episodes so far we've been through can be found on github. Just follow the link in the description below and you can download and look at the code. There will be some minor changes to what you see here on the episode to what's going to be on github. And if you wish to run a specific episode's code, then just right click the package and run as Java application. And you run the code for that episode. Don't know why I didn't do this from the start, but uh, anyway, it's there now. So let's get into this episode. Don't forget this channel have a dedicated Discord server. It's a place where you can talk about the episodes and tutorials of this channel. Maybe you wonder something about the last episode that was a bit unclear. Or maybe you just want to say hello. And for those who wish to go the extra mile to support the channel, there's a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page, and also there's a membership option here on YouTube. Thank you. First up, let's create a new package for this episode. So, new package, and this will be episode 15, like so. And let's just call it final abstract. Two words we're gonna cover today. And let's go ahead and create a new class in this package. Class, let's go for a public static void main and the name will be final and abstract. All right, so here we go. We can begin with the keyword final and let's just make a instance of this class. So new, final and abstract, yeah. And then we go up here and then add a constructor. So public, final, and abstract. Yeah, like so. And final pretty much means that you cannot change something once it's set. So it can be a value or a method or even a class. So let's just begin with a value up here. So private, int, and we say number equals five. And let's add final here. So private final int number. And in the constructor, we just want to say siso number. And after this, we're going to try and change the number. So number equals 10. But we can't because we have an error and it says remove the final modifier of number. It's pretty straightforward. Once we have something set and it has the keyword final, it cannot be changed. But you can actually have a final integer here that is not set. And the only place we can set it is in the constructor. So if I had a random method here, and let's just create this, and inside here we're trying to set number equals 10, or actually let's set it to five, then we get an error because we cannot set the number to five anywhere else but the constructor. So if we remove this, we get an error because it says we need to initialize the final field number in the constructor. So we can create a field, an integer in this case, that's called number. It doesn't have any value yet, but we set the value in the constructor. Or we might as well just say number equals five from the very start. And then we can remove that. And then we run it final value and then plus number and we get the value 5 and of course if we call this method and we're trying to set the number 5 and we run it we proceed even though we have a warning because we have an error and it says the final field ba -ba -ba dot number cannot be assigned because it's final and we cannot change a final number and to demonstrate how we can set final to a method, let's go ahead and create two classes, a building class and a house class. And you know what? I think we can actually drag or rather control C and then control V. And we're gonna take the house as well. So control C, control V, we can close that. And we can go to these two methods or these two classes and remove the implementation. We can remove all of these methods, but let's keep one from the house. Save it, the error goes away, and we go to building, and it all looks all right. If you have some error, just make sure that the package 
name up here is correct for the package we're actually supposed to work in. All right, so back to our main method here or our main class and we can remove this method and that one. Then we can say house house equals new house. So now we have a house here and in the building, let's actually set this cost and type to a final method. So public final void cost and type. We just set the keyword final. We go to house and here we make a at override and then we check public void and the name of this one was cost and type. So we're trying to override this method. We're trying to use the same method, but we also want to uh, change up a little bit. So let's say, what did we have? We had a printout and we just changed this to, this is not going to work. And when you're trying to override a method, that means that you probably have a method in a superclass and you wanna use that method, but you wanna change it up a little bit. You can use an interface to do this, but sometimes you don't need an interface, so you just wanna override a specific method. But if that method in the building class, for example, is final, that will not allow you to override it as we're trying to do here, because it says cannot override the final method from building. So if we were in the main class here, our final and abstract, and we said, house dot cost and type right now we're gonna get an error so we're not gonna be able to run this but let's give it a try proceed anyways and we get an error message a lot of text but class ba, 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 overrides final method and so therefore we get an error but if this method were not final and now from our main method here we're trying to run this we're going to have the printout, this is not going to work, because in our house class, which extends building, we're overriding the method in building, which has the same name. If it doesn't have the same name, for example, type with two E's, we're going to get an error because, well, that method doesn't actually exist, so we can't override something that doesn't exist. So that's what the final keyword does for a method. It won't allow you to override it. And we can also make a class final. So let's take our building class here and let's just make it final. So public final class building. And we save it and we got errors. We got errors in the house class and also in the main class here. And that's because in our house it says the type house cannot be subclass of the final class building. So when you make a class final, you make sure that this class cannot be extended. It cannot be a superclass, it can only be a class. So if you wanted to use the building class here, uh, let's just comment this one out. And instead of house house, we say building, building equals new building. That's the way we're gonna be able to access the methods and variables inside this class, if it's final. So our house class here cannot extend building. But I'm gonna remove this final modifier, like so. So we get rid of those errors, because we're gonna get an error in the next word we're gonna get into, which is abstract. And the abstract keyword, or modifier, is kind of the opposite of final. Instead of denying you to extend or to uh, override abstract, to use an abstract class or a method, you have to either extend the class or override the method. So let's start with abstract class. In simple term, if a class is abstract, you cannot make a instance of that class. So public ab abstract class. And let's get over to our main method here. And we get an error. Cannot instantiate the type building. And the building class is abstract, so we cannot make an instance of building. But we can use the methods and variables inside building as long as we extend it. So I'm just going to comment this one out. 
and a abstract method. Let's go ahead and make it in our building class. Yeah. So we need a public abstract void. Uh, we also need a name perhaps method two. And just like our methods that we declare in our interface, this one is also coming without a body. So we just declare a method that we want to use. And that's it, because it's abstract. And then in house, we're going to get an error because add unimplemented methods. So we need to import this method. And as we can see, we have an override by default. And now we can add the code inside here. So we can say syso hello, like so. And in our main method, we can just say house dot method two. Even though the method is in our building, we are overriding it in the house. So this method is the one that we're going to call if we run the code. And it says, hello, which is correct. So to summarize, we can use the keyword final to make sure that a class cannot be extended or a variable a field cannot be changed. And a abstract class means that we have to extend it in order to use it. And the same goes for a method. If we make a method abstract, we need to override it in the subclass. So that is final and abstract in its basic form. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And the code will of course be uploaded to GitHub before this video comes out on YouTube. So I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care now and have a wonderful day. Bye.